What is our next main topic of the day? All right. Next up is from Terry Gundipson. Hey, John. Okay. We now have a title for Star Wars Episode Nine, and it is The Rise of Skywalker. I've heard you mention a bunch of possible theories as to who or what the title is referring to, but I wanted to ask, now that you've had a few days to think about it, what are the most likely possibilities? Yeah, so, okay, so obviously on Friday, the big panel happens at Star Wars Celebration. They have the Star Wars Episode Nine, and as expected, they ended it by showing the teaser trailer for the new movie of course with the fantastic ending of the emperor's voice laughing the lights come up on stage ian mcdermott himself is standing there and says roll it again and then they play the trailer again it's a great moment but the big conversation piece that's been running around is all right the title's rise of skywalker what is this referring to What's the Skywalker? And there have been several big theories that have been bantied around. First of all, there have been dozens and dozens of theories. Here are the ones that seem to rise to the top. One of them, and these are in no particular order. One is that it's a reference to Luke Skywalker. That Luke himself returns. Okay, that's one. Unlikely, but one. Uh, two, it's a reference to Leia that Leia's rise to prominence and becoming the new chancellor of a brand new uh, republic, the reestablished republic by the end of the film. I think unlikely, but that's a possibility. Another one is that it's a reference to the redemption of Kylo Ren, that Kylo Ren uh, rejects the dark side, re-embraces the light, all that kind of stuff has his redemption arc. A lot of people don't, including myself, don't think that's in the cards for Kylo. Kylo had his opportunity to have a redemption arc. He rejected them. He actually doubled down on his dark side path a number of times. So I don't think it's happening, but that is one of the predominant theories and certainly is a possibility. Another one is a reference to Ray. Some people thinking that maybe J.J. Uh, Abrams will retcon his own thing of saying Ray is not actually descended from anybody. So that's one. But a lot of people seem to think that Ray will adopt the name of Skywalker because one of the things that J.J. Abrams said during the panel was that there has been a chunk of time that has passed between the end of episode eight and the beginning of episode nine. They wouldn't specify how much time. He just said a good amount of time has passed between the end of episode eight and the beginning of episode nine. In that time, she's probably forged a relationship, not just deepening her understanding by reading, reading the Jedi text and all that kind of stuff, but also probably deepening her relationship with Leia. And then maybe by the end, in honor to her and to Luke himself, adopting the name of Skywalker. That's a possibility as well. One of the other possibilities that I find myself most attracted to is the notion that it might be a reference to Anakin Skywalker. That when you look at this nine film saga as a Skywalker saga, as one big story, this whole thing began with Anakin Skywalker. That's where it really began. And there's been stuff in the extended material suggesting that Palpatine is the one who caused Anakin Skywalker to come into existence, that he's the one who manipulated the Force and the midichlorians to conceive Anakin Skywalker to be born, all that kind of stuff. So if you're bringing the Emperor back in, it could stand to reason that we're talking full circle about that rise of Skywalker is not a reference to something that's happening now, but rather a reference to it being revealed how Anakin Skywalker rose in the first place. That's another theory. Now, there are problems with every single one of these theories, and there's problems with others. And by the way, another big popular one that I think has a lot of possibility to it is the notion that no more Jedi, no more whatever, moving forward, Force users will adopt the moniker of Skywalkers. That Force users moving forward are Skywalkers. And it's interesting to note that, uh, as my friend Kevin pointed out to me, that in the earliest drafts of the Star Wars story that George Lucas wrote, the kid's name wasn't Luke Skywalker. Skywalkers were what the Force users were called, actually in George's earliest writings, that these, these, these people who use the Force, they're known as Skywalkers. So that ties into that theory a little bit here uh, as well. Rob, you've probably heard dozens and dozens and dozens of theories regarding in just a couple of days regarding in this title rise of skywalker what the hell is that referencing what to you are some of the more prominent ones that you think have the greatest possibility of maybe panning out 
Well, I think the last one you, you addressed, I mean, there's a reason why it's it's the rise of Skywalker as a idea. That's what mm. I think. I think all the characters you just showed, I mean, Ray, not so much, but Kylo, Leia, Anakin, Luke, they all played a part in shaping the galaxy. And if indeed we finally see balance brought to the force, then the notion of this idea that the, the Skywalker clan has shaped the galaxy over uh, huge events, you know, the rise of the empire, Skywalker's played a part, the, the, the beginning of the rebellion and, and the instigation of the rebellion, the destruction of the first Death Star, Skywalker's played a part, Luke and Leia together uh, were able to get the, the first Death Star destroyed. So I think that the notion that the galaxy is going to embrace the name Skywalker as it was a process, billions of people lost their lives, but it was the Skywalker clan collectively through all of these machinations that finally, in my mind, bring this balance to the galaxy, then allowing the idea that all Force users become Skywalkers, or, or that's there's no longer the Sith and, and the Jedi, but there is only skywalkers i mean i i think that notion is is a really interesting one and i think they're going to go at least the rise of skywalker makes it makes sense to me if you think about about it as an ideal as a as a you know these are powerful forces that have shaped the galaxy and they're they're taken on as a moniker of force users everywhere to hopefully now that there's balance in the force that we can move forward in peace although Who's really at peace in, in, a, in a franchise called Star Wars? And it only lasts for so long, as we found out from Return of the Jedi. All right, guys, well, listen, we want to know what right now is your theory? What do you think the rise of Skywalker is referring to? Jump down to the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.